Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Taxpayers can stay in the know by following IRS social media and subscribing to E! News. And you know you want to be in the know because if you're not in the know, the IRS hits you with sticks, metaphorically speaking, of penalties and interest. That's why their engagement's so good. I mean, honestly, can you imagine how much traffic you could drive if instead of having to incentivize people to engage your content by having cool stuff, or possibly with clickbait, your marketing team could, whenever people did not pay attention, just hit it with a stick. It's kind of like an 18th century grade school teacher wielding a ruler in one hand, a hickory stick in the other, asking, Tiny Tim, are you in the know about chapter three? On how to properly say thou's these and thou's? Cause I hope so, or things are not gonna be looking too good for your knuckles, Tiny Tim. Hey, did you just replace a thou with kitten? Kitten aren't as lovely as a summer's day? That's not how Shakespeare wrote it. It doesn't even fit the meter. Thou, thou art, you little, get your knuckles over here right now. Oh, don't you start crying at me like that, Tiny Tim. That's not how things work round here. That's not how things work round here. That's. That's how the IRS marketing team is. IRS tax tip 2022-108, July 18th, 2022. People can get the latest IRS news through the agency's verified social media accounts. There's a link to that here. And by subscribing to eNews services, these communication channels keep taxpayers in the know about important tax matters all year, not just during filing season. So we've got the typical social media accounts down below. I don't follow personally all these social media accounts, at least not regularly. Uh, I do look at the news and the tips, which you can get by email as well. And I'm curious to know that if there's other people following some of these other uh, social media platforms, if there's something over and above what we're basically getting from the news, meaning are you getting something in, in a faster way, do you think? or in a bite-sized kind of way, so you don't have to weed through as, as much data. You know, what are the benefits possibly that some people might be getting from getting the news from some of these other platforms? So for example, Twitter we have here, and Twitter, it seems to me, I've never been able to get much traction on Twitter, but you can subscribe to our Twitter, we're on the Twitter, but uh, it seems like a place where people just get in trouble to me. But in any case, uh, I, I would think that because of the limitations in the amount that you can put in a tweet, that it's kind of designed for really new or really current content and, and possibly shock value kind of content. Uh, and I would think, I would hope that the IRS generally, if they're coming out with new laws, they should be telegraphing those laws and be as transparent as possible. So I would think that it wouldn't be as uh, a place that Twitter would be would be a great place to be, given the fact that Twitter is driven by really kind of new and shocking or current news, I would think. But maybe uh, maybe I'm missing some of the point there. So let me know if anyone's following it on Twitter. So you got taxpayers, businesses, and tax professionals can follow the IRS handles for announcements, tips, and tax security alerts. The security alerts might be something that's kind of sudden, right? Not like a law change that comes in place. So that could be something I would think a, a Twitter account might. Uh, might lend itself to IRS Twitter moments highlight key messages in Spanish, Vietnamese, Russian, Korean, Haitian, Creole, and simplified Chinese. People can also follow the at recruitment IRS to learn about job opportunities. That one also, I would think maybe you get those pretty quick with a tweet. And maybe if you're on the Twitter all the time, that would be something you want to turn around time that's quite quick as opposed to law changes, which you would hope that would be telegraphed fairly in advance. Then we've got Facebook, of course, uh, news and information for everyone. There's also a page in Spanish. So uh, to me, if I'm going to, if I'm going to go to like a website, I would think that just going to the IRS website or getting an email from the IRS on their news is better for me. But is, is there anything on Facebook that any format that makes it more convenient or just that it's on Facebook maybe is more convenient? Instagram, another one that I just, I mean, isn't Instagram, I, it's another place I haven't got any traction. We do have an Instagram account though. <laughs> so you can follow us on there. It's great. We put, but I mean, isn't that something that you have to put your phone with? Like you're supposed to take things with your phone. So how, I don't see how the IRS is giving a whole lot more value on Instagram. Although I don't see how I've given much. I don't, I don't get, I don't get it really. But in any case, you can follow them on Instagram. So if anyone's getting added value on Instagram that I'm somehow don't understand, YouTube, I would think would be a, a useful channel for them to give educational walkthrough videos. So I can think, I can see how they can use YouTube a lot more efficiently than some of the web stuff online because 
YouTube has great stuff for like translating and the closed captions and that kind of stuff. So YouTube, I would think would be quite useful for particular things for educational things. Uh, that's how I've seen YouTube. So the IRS offers three video channels. You got English, American Sign Language, and Multilingual. So there's links to that here. This channel features videos in Spanish, Chinese, and Vietnamese. It also features playlists on specific tax topics for tax professionals and small businesses. And then you got LinkedIn, which again, if you're looking for a job, that would make sense for me. If you're just looking at the news, I wouldn't see, think it adds a whole lot of value. But again, maybe I'm missing something. The IRS shares a key agency communications and job opportunities. So job opportunities make sense there for me. So the agency also has a free mobile app, IRS2Go. So I don't use that either, but I think uh, if you're a avid phone user, then that could be a useful tool as well. I basically almost want to throw my phone away at this point, <laughs> but I needed to log in with the double verification to some websites and whatnot. And I, and I like the GPS on it, <laughs> but in any case, where taxpayers can check their fund status, uh, find free tax help, watch IRS YouTube videos, and get daily tax tips. The IRS 2 Go app is available from Google Play Store for Android devices uh, or from the Apple App Store for Apple devices. It is available in English and Spanish. The IRS does not send direct messages to taxpayers on social media asking for personal or financial information. So if the IRS, if you get a tweet, a tweet, and it's like, IRS here, tweeting you to give me your give me your social security number then the iris doesn't do that iris doesn't do that obviously so scammers make fake accounts impersonating the irs uh, these are common scams that try to lure taxpayers on social media platforms or with unsolicited emails texts or calls so they don't actually do that so beware anyone can sign up for automatic email updates so this is what i do this is the old i guess this is this is ancient technology at this point but i think the emails are great <laughs> because then they, then you could just go to the website when something sounds interesting with the news although the articles that they give as you can see here are fairly long so maybe the tweet could you could you get this down to you know five whatever characters in a tweet i don't know maybe the IRS e-news subscription service issues tax information by email for many different audiences. It provides tips, tools, helpful materials of interest to taxpayers and organizations. The IRS offers subscription services tailored to tax exempt and government entities, small and large businesses, as well as individuals. The service is easy to use. Anyone can sign up by visiting IRS e-news subscription. So IRS e-news options include, you got the IRS Outreach Connect. This subscription offers, delivers up-to-date materials for tax professionals and partner groups inside and outside the IRS community. The material for Outreach Connection, there's a link to that here, is specifically designed so subscribers can share the material with their clients or members through email, social media, int uh, internal newsletters, emails, and external websites. So they got stuff that you can kind of, kind of use for your own, you know, uh, possibly your client base or purposes formatted thusly. IRS tax tip. These brief, concise tips is uh, plain language. I think this is a tax tip right here cover a wide range of topics of general interest to taxpayers. They include the latest on tax scams, tax reform, tax deductions, filing extensions, and amending returns. IRS tax tips generally come out uh, each uh, weekday. I are, they're not every weekday, but they come out during weekdays. They don't get them every day, but whatever. Sometimes they get, they're better than other, whatever. IRS Newswire. Subscribers to IRS Newswire receive news releases the day they are issued. These cover a wide range of tax administration issues ranging from breaking news to details related to legal guidance. You got the IRS in Spanish. I get these for some reason too. I don't think I signed up for the Spanish news, but I try to read it sometime. Uh, Noticias del IRS in Espanol. That's what I do. I read it in Espanol. Readers, uh, readers get IRS news releases, tax tips, and updates in Spanish. Subscribe to e-news subscription. There's a link to that here. 
E-News for Tax Professionals includes a weekly roundup of news releases and legal guidance specifically designed for tax professionals. Subscribing to E-News for Tax Professionals gets tax pros a weekly summary topically delivered delivered on Friday afternoons. And then we've got E-News for Small Businesses. Taxpayers can subscribe to E-News for Small Businesses to receive tax information for small business owners and self-employed individuals. So there's links to all that social media and news and stuff here. And those are linked to this in the description.